morning friends welcome to another vlog it is wednesday of our homeschool break week and yesterday was a really good day i didn't vlog at all because i spent the majority of the day filming content and um, finishing up my master to-do list workshop for my membership community which we are going through right now. If you want to come and join us, you can certainly come check that out. Today is going to be a little bit of home management stuff, but I have to run a bunch of errands as well. We are going to go to the coffee shop for breakfast, and then I need to go to a kid's consignment store and see if they will take some of the clothes that I have to get rid of that my kids, they don't fit anymore, obviously. These are things that I pulled out months ago when I started doing all of my decluttering of the basement. It was one of my goals to work on decluttering. And originally what I had planned to do was have a yard sale, but then I got shingles in May and that lasted pretty much right until 4th of July, and then we were getting back to school. So anyways, it didn't happen. The yard sale didn't happen. I know that I talked about maybe doing a yard sale in the fall in one of my other videos, but I know that I just don't have time to put that together. So I'm going to try the kids' consignment store and see if they will take what I have. Hopefully they will. It's pretty good quality stuff. And then I do have books that need to go to Goodwill. In fact, I do have Goodwill on my list today, but I have not put the books in the car and I think that's probably going to be something that I will do on the weekend when I can get my husband to maybe lift some boxes of books out to the car uh, because they're all in the basement and I just I'm not motivated to move the books. There are a lot of them. But I'm going to take ARCs and other random books that we just want to get rid of to Goodwill. And then we have to hit up the library. Emma wants to drop off some volunteer paperwork. And I have a book to pick up. I have a couple of books in transit. If you've been listening to my woes of the interlibrary loan not being available throughout the summer, it is available now. It finally got back to normal, but I have several books in transit and they have been in transit for over a week now and I don't know why it's taking so long to get to the library. So I'm going to go pick up the one book that I have. Hi Lucy. And then we'll see. We'll see uh, where the day takes us, but I do have a few things that I need to get done today. I'd like to work on the Florida pictures. I want to do a goals check and just get through my goals a little bit. I think I am going to journal a little bit about 2025 as well because I've had these ideas weighing on me that I just feel like I need to flesh out because they're taking up space in my brain. They're things that I know I don't have time for through the end of this year because my other goals, my 2024 goals, I already have action plans and I need to get them done. So I think just since Sitting down and maybe fleshing some things out. I'm really feeling the word create or maker for 2025 as kind of my theme, which if you've watched any of my goals planning videos, my goal planning videos, I typically choose a word of the year or a theme for the year before I even go through and do prep work or thinking about my goals comes last in a lot of goal planning processes, but for me, it's always first and I use it as a lens to filter my goal ideas through. So I'm really excited about that and I just need to get some thoughts out of my head. Emma is in the shower. Jack has to take a shower. Lucy is all ready. She may need a snack before we actually go because, yeah. no, you think you're good? I'm getting a Danish. A bagel and a lemonade. Oh my goodness, that seems like a sugar-filled breakfast. I know, but a bagel is healthy. That's why I'm eating a bagel. <laughs> it's for you, okay? Okay. And if you get one of those things with one of those breads, you're giving that bread to me because I love bread. <laughs> They have this Korean chili egg scramble that is delicious, but it comes with homemade sourdough toast that it's not toasted. It's kind of like fried on a griddle. Um, it's so good. It's really good. <laughs> okay. We'll see. All right. So that's, that's the check-in for this morning. Let's see how today goes.
we just got back from our excursion. It's almost 12 o'clock right now. We had a lovely breakfast at the coffee shop. I did drop off two bags of clothes at the consignment store. Hopefully they will sell. She was unsure because she has better luck with baby stuff and not stuff for older kids. But I'm just hoping because it was really good quality clothes that they will actually sell, which would be nice. So I need to wait about a month before I check in with her to see if anything has sold. And then let's see, we went to the library and I got a few new books, a couple of productivity books and um, Hillbilly Elegy, which is by JD Vance, which I wanted to read. And so all of those came in, which was good. Lucy got several cookbooks and it was also the book sale at the library so she bought a few little cookbooks as well. I didn't record anything while we were out but now we're home and I am going to clean up the kitchen a little bit, get some dishes done, vacuum, and then I'm not sure what the next thing is. I kind of want to put some comfy clothes on and go sit outside because it's really nice out right now in the sun and maybe just do some reading, but I also have some video editing to do. I don't really wanna do that when it's nice out. So I don't have a ton of home management stuff today, which is nice. I probably could take some time to go through some of the homeschool bins, um, which I'm still slowly making my way through for my goals or my file drawers, but today might be more introspective, goal focused. I want to do some journaling and look at a few new books and obviously read the books that I just picked up at the library. So we'll see. Uh, but so far it's been a good, a good morning. We've been out for a few hours and uh, I'm tired from that. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Okay, so I have changed into my comfy clothes. <laughs> that is, does anybody else do that? Like when you're home, you just immediately put on like sweatshirt and comfy pants. That's that's a me thing, I think. Um, so I am just doing my goals check right now. I'm feeling good about things. I did read the Create Rhythm already. I've done about half of the fall projects. The other fall projects are weekly projects and finishing my fall inventories. I think that I'm pretty much done with my inventory, so I can probably check that off. But the weekly projects, and in fact, if you look under my weekly action items, the weekly projects. I'm supposed to be doing two each week and I have not even started them. And I think when I sat down, I was going to work on those this week, but when I planned out my week, I totally forgot about that. So let me just flip to that page. Yes, here we go. So back in June, I set up this section with the weekly projects that I wanted to focus on each week for the last six months of the year. I have deep clean the fridge, deep clean the freezer, do my inventory, which that one is actually done, clean and organize under the kitchen sink, which I still have not done, pantry. Oh, I actually have done that one. Let me check some of these off. I also did the food storage containers the entry closet is kind of done and the entry bureau is kind of done and the linen first aid closet is done. Okay, you know what? I am gonna give myself some credit because I didn't, apparently I need to look at these more often. So I have pretty much cleaned out the entryway closet. I want to wash the floors in there. I did wash the, the downstairs floors uh, um, Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember which day now. I think it was Monday or it might have been Tuesday. <laughs> what day is it today? It's Wednesday. I washed the floors yesterday and I probably could have pulled everything out to do the floors in the entryway closet, but I didn't. So I still need to do that, but for the most part, it is clean. I want to bring down some of the winter slash fall coats and hang them in the closet. I might work on that this weekend. The entryway bureau is, I just need to bring up the hats and gloves and put those in a drawer. Master bathroom storage, I've done that. I have not done the cubby and closet in my bedroom. I have done the kids fall clothes and I have sorted the winter gear. I still need to purchase winter gear. That is an end of September project. Okay, well. Now that I've actually looked at some of the weekly projects, I am going to give myself some credit for these and um, be happy about that because I didn't realize that I had done as many as I had. Um, so now it is 1230. 
I don't think anybody is hungry for lunch. Lucy made brownies yesterday, and so I think we're gonna eat some brownies and probably have something snacky for lunch. And what I'm going to do is a little bit of journaling in my 2025 goals notebook. This is just an A5 Lightstrom notebook. Typically I get B5 for my goals uh, and book journal and work journal. They're all actually right there, but I still have probably 40 pages in this and I don't think I'm going to need all of that space through the end of 2024. So I decided to get a smaller notebook. We'll see if this one gets completely filled up. So that's what I'm going to do. I know that it's still early to be <laughs> considering 2025, but I was chatting with somebody and you know, I am already putting things down on my list that I know I will not get to in 2024, but I kind of have some other ideas around those things that I just need to kind of flesh out a little bit. And so I think that I will feel better after I actually do that rather than just holding it in my brain. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit outside for a little bit. It's a little breezy, but it's sunny. It's not very warm. Well, it's not freezing. It's like 68 degrees, but when I sit in the shade, I need, I need a blanket. I'm always so cold, um, which it's not great because I live in Maine. I wanted to also show you the books that I got at the library. This one, Off the Clock by um, Laura Vanderkam. She wrote 168 Hours, which is a really interesting book about time, how long things take you, what you're actually doing with your time. And I think that actually came from a, a newspaper article or a magazine article, uh, maybe back in 2014 or 2015 all about how she tracked her time for an entire year, what she was doing. So I always recommend doing a weekly time inventory when you are trying to figure out time blocks and how much time you have to do things. And it is really helpful when you see how long things are taking you and where you're actually spending your time as long as you're honest with that time inventory. Another book that I got was Feel Good Productivity uh, by Ali Abdal. I don't know where I saw this book. I think I just saw it on a list and I was like, oh, well, I'll check it out because I need something else to read. Um, and then Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. I've heard a lot of great things about this book. And with everything that's going on in politics right now, I thought it would be a good book to read for myself. So that is my check-in for now. We'll see what I get done in the next couple of hours. Okay, guys, let's do some planner chat because it's, it's a little bit later and I have been kind of thinking about goals, thinking about 2025. I know it is is, I know this is September when I'm recording this, but a couple of weeks ago, I shared my full review and walkthrough of this common planner from Sterling Inc. It is the B5 vertical full year common planner, and it is really, really pretty. There are all of these amazing pages at the back. There's, I think, 367 blank pages that you can use as daily pages or journal pages or bullet journal type thing. Yes, so why did I buy this planner when I have <laughs> this amazing Erin Condren system? I have wanted to reduce the number of planners that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. My personal planning, I have the same system that I've been using pretty much since 2015. I think 2015 is when I started using like a daily planning pad or daily planning notebook in addition to my Erin Condren weekly planner, which I started using in 2014. And now I have my weekly and my daily duo. But then I also have, you know, my goal planner. I also have the home planner from Passionate Petty Pincher, which I don't really use these planning pages because I'm not a horizontal planner person, but all of these lists have been so incredibly helpful for me as I have come up with my own home management routine, which I showed you a little earlier. I have created a list of weekly projects, mainly based on what is in the home planner. Um, there are all these lists right at the beginning of the planner. They are so incredibly helpful. This planner is for sale. So if you, if you are looking for a home management planner or trying to do some sort of home management 
rhythm or routine, I definitely recommend this. It has so much information that you can either take and try to implement exactly as it's written, or you can take what is written and you know create your own system utilizing the lists, um, which is kind of what I have done. So I have those weekly projects in my daily planner, and then I have some things in the notes pages, mainly the monthly tasks, my monthly to-do list, which I need to work on these tasks for September as well. Um, my general stuff, again, a lot of it came from the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner. Uh, I have my weekly cleaning tasks, the general things that I do each day of the week to focus on maintaining my house. All of this stuff is stuff that would be good in here. And then I also have my book journal, which I absolutely love all of these spreads that I have done, keeping track of my books in here and writing out notes and quotes of things that I find value in. So, but I'm, I don't use as many pages as maybe I thought that I would. So honestly, I'm considering just using this notebook for 2025 book journal. And I actually have all of my stickers ready to set everything up because I like how these layouts are. But then I was thinking, why do I need a separate notebook? Why can't I just keep track of the books that I'm reading in here in some sort of collection like a bullet journal? Will I need all of this space for every single day daily planning? Am I going to be able to do journaling? Can I do Bible related journaling in here? Can I do personal journaling? Just all of the things and keep everything in this planner. Is that possible? I honestly don't know, but it is something that I'm considering for next year. There are even goal pages right at the beginning of the planner. I'm still going to use my power sheets for all of the prep work and everything, and I love the tending list, but I really like this spread, how it has the goal breakdown, you know, what is the goal, and then someday, one year, half year, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily. This is a yearly tracker page, and then each quarter has priorities, the three months, and then more tracker space and note space. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Could everything go in here? and just have one big book for the year. Like all of my memory keeping, all of my book stuff, all of my Bible stuff. I don't know if I could do everything in here or not, but wouldn't that be interesting to cut all of the extra planners out and just have one book? I'm kind of considering doing that. So at this point in the day, I have taken off my makeup and I, I am just really considering using this B5 Common Planner for everything. I feel like there are so many pages in the back, you know, 367 pages. I can essentially have one full page each day for the entire year. Will that be enough? Or am I too wordy that I need extra space? And the other thing is she has just notebooks in these sizes, in all of the sizes. So I could always get an additional notebook if I needed it if I find that I am using all of the space in here. So I don't know, but I am really tempted to try to move all of my planning stuff in here. The problem is if I do that and it doesn't work and I get to February and I'm like, oh, I need all of my extra notebooks and such, that's going to be a challenge. But I do actually have all of those notebooks already, so maybe it won't be a big deal. I think... <laughs> I just need to make a decision, but I've been thinking about it so much that I think I do want to try it and see. I may still set up my book journal um, because I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to have book related stuff interspersed in here because the whole, the whole purpose of me having a book journal is so that I can refer back to it, um, especially notes and quotes and uh, just see my reading at a glance stats. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. But I could also have collections in here similar to a bullet journal and just work it that way. I don't know. But this Sunday is the next, uh, the last release of the 2025 products. 
and it's all of her booklets and I'm going to be getting some booklets as well so I'm excited to kind of see those as well because I I want to get a booklet mainly because I think that's what I need for my work planner. I don't need so much extra space like an Erin Condren monthly planner with all of the line space. I can just continue using my Lightstrom notebook uh, to map out content and things like that and just use the monthly calendar for content planning and just when I'm doing specific things, I think that that will be fine. So yeah. These are some thoughts that I've had this afternoon as I've been kind of brainstorming goal stuff, thinking about the end of 2024, what's ahead for 2025. Again, I know I'm still very early thinking about these things, but I think I mentioned this in another um, video that as a content creator online, I have been trained by ad agencies and other um you know, online creators that everything is so early. So right now, 2025 planners are being released. And so I am considering 2025 stuff now. The same thing with Halloween stuff went out as soon as 4th of July was over. <laughs> or maybe like right after the back to school stuff, which was in the middle of July, even though <laughs> kids didn't go back to school until September. You know, and as soon as Halloween is done, Christmas stuff is going to be out. You could probably find some Christmas stuff in some of the stores already. So the, the, the seasons, even though we're not in those seasons, there's such a rush. So I don't know, I'm feeling the pressure this year, I guess. <laughs> but um, it's, been, it's been good. I haven't actually gone outside. I've just been sitting at my desk going through all of this stuff. So uh, just a little check-in. What are you having for lunch? Mm -hmm. What is it? <laughs> okay, friends, so I have moved outside and I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon evening out here. We only have so many nice days left in Maine. It's actually really pleasant right now, uh, which is nice. I obviously I spent some time sharing about my thoughts on 2025 and some planner related stuff. I've I've just been considering 2025 a lot and I actually mentioned this in um, my co-working session with my membership community that I think part of the reason that I have such a drive for 2025, well I know I talked about being a content creator and the seasons just sneak up on you, but I feel like the fact that four of my goals this year were continuations of goals that I actually started in 2023 means that I feel really comfortable with the progress that I've made on those goals. And so I'm thinking ahead to new ideas and new things that I want to do in the new year. So the rest of the afternoon, I'm actually going to spend some time writing. That has been a focus for me this week, this vacation week, and it's been really nice to sit down and do some more creative writing over on my website, and I want to continue working on that. I do have a few ideas of creative pursuits I can do over the next few months to give me a little bit more of what I'm looking for. The first is potentially doing a Write 31 Days, which is a challenge that Michael and Smith of The Nester started, oh, maybe back in 2011, 2010. And I participated from 2012 to 2019, I think. And then I did, I think, do one in 2022. Uh, it's essentially just choosing a topic and writing every day in the month of October about that particular topic. It's a fun challenge. And then November is NaNoWriMo. I have seen that there has been some craziness going on with NaNoWriMo. We don't actually participate in the forums or anything like that. Um, we just do the challenge of the writing a novel in the month of November, writing every day in November. Uh, we do that with our homeschool. 
So we will continue to do NaNoWriMo, although maybe we won't call it NaNoWriMo, I'm not sure. And then in December, I'm hoping to do December Daily, which I think I mentioned in another vlog that I ordered <laughs> some December Daily stuff. I've never done December Daily. It's like a daily scrapbooking challenge for the month of December, I believe. And so each day has its own little story. And so I did order <laughs> stuff for that. I've never done that before. I've been watching people do December Daily on YouTube since 2015. Why am I jumping in? I don't know anything about it. It's going to be interesting. I used to love scrapbooking, but I haven't done scrapbooking in decades, so it'll be interesting to see. I actually went to Michael's a couple of days ago to see if I could find an album for my Florida pictures, and I could not find what I was looking for at all. And so I think I'm going to have to order something online. I like to see and feel things before I buy them. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. It was, I don't know, a lot of me talking today. I feel like my vlogs are a lot of talking lately and not so much showing you what I'm doing, but I've got a lot of thoughts, guys, and so I like to chat about them with you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.